Now, when we talk about divine visitation like this, like this coming convention, it's a season where several servants of God will be around. Now, it's a season where we'll be meeting every day. In fact, at times, twice a day. Because of those that have one, uh, that are either in business or in ministry or married, you know, they'll be in other meetings apart from the evening rallies. So, it's a meeting loaded that God has prepared. Do you know that a person can come to church? I always tell people, people come to church and don't get blessed in church. And a lot of them will be saying, the pastor is not anointed. The pastor is not anointed. Or some will even say, God is not in that church. Some will say, anointing is not in that church. But I always tell people this fact. Let's start with John chapter 5, verse 4. I always tell people this fact. God has principles. He has ways of doing things. No matter your title, if you violate his principles, you can't enjoy his blessings. John chapter 5 verse 4. Let's start with it. If you violate God's principles, there is no how you can enjoy the blessing of God. Can you? Uh, yes, let's read it together. Remain on your seat. One, two, three, and let's go. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then, whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well and whatever, of whatever disease he had. Now, look at this. I want to ask a question. Is it not possible for God to heal everybody? But why did he put it that whoever enters first? Now, you know why God said whoever enters first? He wants to see level of commitment level of faith level of trust for him level of um, how do I call it again level of seriousness in what you want now which means anyone that enters that is not forced will come out with his problem only the person that enters first is healed when the power of God is available so it shows us that if you don't know how to follow the principles of God you will just be coming and going so, in the first service, we, were, we shared the same message at the level church. Now, number one, we said, when you come to God's presence, you must come with expectation. Anytime you are coming to God's presence, come with what? Expectation. You don't come into presence without expectation. Or else, church service will just be like, you are coming and going. And we were taught this morning too here, Hannah was always coming to Shiloh every year and going back the same because Hannah was always thinking that Shiloh time was a time to share meat and bread. But this particular day that she went to the altar to pray, that was what changed her Shiloh experience. She went with expectation, I want a son. Now, convention is coming this next week. Seven days meeting. Seven days of meeting God. And in the seven days, we have about... 13 meetings organized together. In fact, more than 13, about 15 meetings organized for the convention. Now, what is your expectation? What do you trust God to do in your life? Don't come without expectation. That's why I say, I always say it. People that come to church without expectations are the ones that sleep in the service. He service mighty be lani she jumeta wanting honu. I have studied him for a point. It was when Anna went to, to the altar that her case was settled. Now, I'm, I'm showing you the message we studied. We are rehearsing the message we did in the first service. Then number two, we said in the first service, what's the second thing? Now, listen. We said, do, uh, uh, you, must, you must be courageous enough to open your mouth. To ask for whatever you want whenever you come to God's presence. Anytime you, you, you notice a divine visitation, learn to be courageous enough to ask for what you want. Then the third thing we studied in the, in, the, in the first service, that was the last one, it was, they taught us that beware of provokers 
in the place of divine, in the time of his divine visitation. Beware of provokers. Emma, Shora, Fanwo, Tofema, Munubie. That's it. No, no. You know, if you keep malice and come into God's presence, you waste your time in God's presence. Malice will not allow your prayers to reach God and it will not allow answers to reach you. That's why you must beware. During your time of divine visitation, avoid anything that can provoke you. Why is it that it was always any time they come to Shiloh that Penina will provoke Anna? She had, she had a demonic assignment to make sure that Shiloh experience was wasted in the life of Hannah. And it was wasted for several years so, until the day that Anna decided, I won't fight this woman again. I will go to the altar for God to what? To give me what I want. That's why be careful. Anytime there's a special program like this, special anointing service, beware, don't fight with your wife at that particular time. That's not a time to come to church and somebody is sitting in the north and another person is sitting in the south and two of you are angry with yourselves and they, and they are praying, you are blessed, you are blessed and you are saying, amen, amen. Ah, look at Ephesians. Okay, let's look at the scripture. Look at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30 and 31. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30 and 31. Put it on screen for us to see. Ephesians chapter 4. Let's read together. This verse 30. 1, 2, 3 and let's go. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Now do not grieve means do not get him angry. Don't frustrate him to go out of your life. And what can make the Holy Ghost to be angry? Look at verse 31. He said let all bitterness, all wrath, all anger, all clamor, all and all evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. I want to leave me much in here. Oh, the yon inu bibi. Uh, what do you call bitterness in Yoruba? Uh, uh, or a woo little come on, sonny. What is bitterness in Yoruba? Jari? Eh? How can. <laughs> How can Kalaba be telling us Yoruba <laughs> in Ivano? <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> oh yeah, let's be serious. Let's be serious. We're in church. So I want you to understand this. You don't allow the devil to use that as an opportunity to rob. In fact, you know what the Bible says? Jesus, our Lord, was telling his disciples in Matthew 5. He told them, he says, see, if you are bringing an offering to the altar, to what the Bible says, 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 there is nothing it will produce for you. So, in the season of divine visitation, you must be careful of what? Provokers. Beware. So, let's look at the one for the service. We have another three in this service. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 11. 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 11. Another thing that Hannah did at Shiloh that made her to qualify for this Samuel of her choice. The Bible says, Then she made a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your maid servants and remember me and not forget your maid servants, but you will give your maid servant a male child, I pray that God will use this convention to give you what you want. Amen. I didn't hear your amen very well. <laughs> He says, God is, is now saying, I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life. And no razor shall come upon his head. I will give him. And I will make sure that no razor come. I will dash him to God if God will give me a son. Now, what is the fourth thing you do to make divine visitation to work for you? Listen, Hannah's vow also made a lot of impact in getting her expectation realized. Beloved, your seed, well, sorry, when your seed tallies with God's plan, it will attract great blessing of God from, for you. Now, what do I mean? In your time of divine visitation, you must know how to give. 
Now, during your time that God wants to change your lives, your levels, you know what? God at times will demand for certain things from you. How will he demand? He will place it in your heart. At times, he could raise any of his servants to demand for it. I remember, I will share this testimony with you. I remember after our, well, that's Evangelist Shukri, is one here. After he had given birth to two children, two boys, that time we were, we were building the Lebu church. And I came to the altar here, I said, we need blocks, Amanilo blocks. We need blocks to build house. How many of you can give 10, 10 blocks? 10, 10 blocks. And the, the wife came out and said, I will give 10 blocks. As she came out, I said, no, I don't want 10 blocks from you. Will you give 50 blocks? Let God give you a female child. Uh -uh. I know somebody will say, Pastor, are you God? I follow only 50 blocks. Follow only for Elon Musk. He said, yes, I want a female child, but Papa, I don't have money for 50 blocks. I said, then forget it. So I turned my back. I was going. The husband said, you better give 50 blocks. I said, okay, give extra 10, 60 blocks, so that the girl will be fine. Ah, he said the 50 self is plenty not to talk about the extra one and she believed the prophet the Bible says believe in the Lord your God you shall be established believe in his prophets you shall prosper and I remember very well she put the money for 60 blocks on this altar and I said you are blessed may the Lord give you the female child that you want And she got pregnant. As God we have it. What happened? She gave birth to a female child. And she was glad. See, every single time, hear me, your seed tallies with the plan of God. It attracts a blessing. That's why I always tell people, when it is time to give, be praying. Lord, teach me and show me what to give. Because the way Cain came to give, Abel came to give. There was nothing bad about Cain's giving. So many pastors said, he didn't give God fat one. Some say, he didn't give God thin one. Some say, he didn't give God first fruit. The Bible didn't talk about it. The Bible only said God did not accept. Do you know why? As at the time that Cain was giving fruits, what God needed was animals. And Abel brought an animal to God. That was the need of God at that time. God said, wow, wow. Nkonto mu wai, oba need, nkonto mu feshe mu. Olon de te wogba. Are you getting what I'm saying? As at the time that Hannah was praying, God was saying, I want to change the priesthood. I don't want what the family of Eli is doing anymore. I want to raise somebody that will be raised under them. That was the time that Hannah knelt down and was praying. She didn't know what was happening. Lord, if you can give me a son, I will give him back to you. And he will be living in the church. And God said, this has seed tallies with my need. And since it tallies with my need, give her a son. I know there are several preachers online preaching against giving. Don't give offering. Don't give this. Don't. As if when you are giving, you are enriching the pastor. See, the pastor is doing what you two are doing. I call for tithes this morning. I've paid my, I, you see my own, I pay my own tithes too. Because if I'm only teaching you, I'm not doing it, you will prosper more than me. And I don't like it. Because if you are prospering and I'm not prospering, I will always be at your doorstep. And you will disrespect me. If I'm coming to knock, imagine your pastor come to knock your door in the morning, go, 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 go. I just say I should come and greet you. Anything for us? Hello? Talk to me, hello. So if you want divine visitation to work for you, you must make up your mind to be a giver. Just like I said, God was preparing to bring a replacement for the family of Eli. This is to show you us that your seed is, import, is important in your time of visitation. Don't wait for the preacher to raise one. Follow the prompting of the Spirit of God in the season of your visitation. Because at times, it may be while you are praying, the Holy Ghost will throw something in your mind. Son, go and do this. Oti shele me several times. That God, even me as your pastor, that God has told me to give. I remember, I remember, I've given my car before now. I was just listening to a message on television. And the pastor was preaching that he that bears precious seeds, going to sow it with tears, shall return with joy. 
and I just had in my spirit, have you ever given God anything that has made you to cry before? And I said, no, sir. He said, give me your Jeep. It was a red Jeep that time. It was not long that I bought it. Ah, I should give you care. Lord, what will I now be using? And I didn't hear anything again. And I came on Sunday morning, I stood here and I told the church, the project that is going on, the church project, I will be giving my car. Let the church sell it. Whatever is brought from it, let's use it for project. They sold that car, I still remember, at the entrance here. I think it was sold for, I can't remember the amount, 500,000. And we, I gave it to them. Let's go and do the project. A man had it. And when he heard that I gave my Jeep, he told them to come and carry another Jeep of the same color, the same brand. That's the same maker that they should give me. When they brought it, I said, no. If I should use this kind of car, the members will think I'm 419. Because the only thing that is different is plate number. So I sold it. Did it pain me? Yes, it pained me. But car is no longer a problem to me. All the cars that I've been using, I, I get them almost free. If I tell you prices I get car, you'll be shocked. That, what, what a ridiculous way, uh, price. Let's give him be your attitude in your season of divine visitation. Say I hear. You can do better now. So don't wait for the preachers to raise one. Follow the prompting of the Spirit of God in the season of visitation. This was what, uh, what people like Noah did. Look at that. He came out of the ark. Nobody told Noah as he was coming out of the ark. Let him know uh, uh, ark here. He looked at the right. He looked at the left. He looked at the front. He looked at the back. He didn't see any human being again. Apart from his family, the Bible says he took an animal slaughtered it oh lord this is an offering to you the bible says god smelt it and said noah for this you have done as long as the art endures seed time and harvest will never cease giving his power i always tell my children even if you don't have money to give give your service Give your time. Make yourself available for God to use you. Because there's no way it is written that it's only money God accepts. Hello? You can give yourself. I say, now when I say give yourself, it's give your time. Make yourself available. You can make yourself available as a seed to God. That Father Lord, I'm going to make my time available. I'm doing this as a seed. God does not eat seeds. You know what he does? He multiplies it. May the Lord bless you this season. In the name of Jesus. I say may the Lord bless you this season. Abraham too. When he saw the three strangers. What did he do? The Bible says, you know I told you last week. He told them come into my house. Abraham. So funya we pe wo yi odun to nbo o ma gbe omo okunrin jo bibili ni sara si buserin erin ki lorin awon arakunrin won ti jeran eh won ti mu wara won ti wa nso iso guso you know that's how you feel when you, your pastor visits you and you prepare good food and he finish eating and your pastor say by this time tomorrow you are going to become a millionaire ah uh -uh. you will first laugh you know why you will laugh? Because you are the one that know your condition. Sarah, I'm, I'm, you don't know, I'm 89 years old. And you say, by this time next year, I'll be with a son. I'll come. You know? And the Bible said those men who knew, call her Sarah. You will laugh. That's why when Sarah gave back to Isaac, he said, the name of this boy shall be, I laughed. And look at me laughing for real. May you be able to hear God. For the instruction that will open your next level in Jesus' name. The same thing happened to the Shunomite woman. Don't forget the woman. She saw, oh, the man of God was always passing. Always passing. Look at how she unnessed her, her divine visitation. He said, man of God, come to my house. 
man of God, come and eat. One of the days the man of God was eating, the man of God said, call this woman for me. What do you want? Said, the woman said, I'm okay. I'm okay. But the servant of the man of God said, the woman doesn't have a son. Kolomo, Kunio. Kolomo, Oga Kolomo. The woman, the man of God said, by this time next year, you shall be with a son. Imagine if she didn't have a giving spirit. Let's go to number five. The next one. What do you do to make divine visitation work for you? Hallelujah. In 1 Samuel chapter 1. Look at 1 Samuel chapter 1. 17 and 18. Let's go there. 1 Samuel chapter 1. Verse 17 and 18. In your season of divine visitation, what do you do? 1 Samuel chapter 1. 17 and 18. Can we read together? 1, 2, 3 and let's go. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant your petition, which you have asked of him. Verse 18. And she said, Let your servant find favor in your sight. So the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no longer sad. Now, excuse me, sir. Please pay attention to number five. Hannah was able to capture her word from God in the time of divine visitation pay attention to your word when all the servants of God will be coming to preach the Bible says he sent his word and it healed them a lot of people are still in the same condition you know why? they didn't hear their word when it came that's why I always tell people, please, in church, concentrate. One of the things that changed my life and changed my ministry, I will not lie, was when uh, 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 Bishop David Oedeko came for a meeting in my mentor's ministry. I was seated. The minister sit. It was my right. One was on my left. And the one that was on my right was saying, Pastor, as Bishop Ridiku was coming in, it will suit, it will suit, ah, it will be skin and she fresh. It will be me, people, but in this stop life. Because in church, me in taking your me sorrow, I always concentrate. There must be a word for me. The other woman, man, too, was saying, Pastor, you know what I did? I stood up from their mix. I went to sit somewhere else. That's why they used to say I'm proud. I mean, they don't know anybody. As Bishop Oedeko was coming in, the first word that I grabbed, me it changed my mindset. He was climbing the stairs on the altar. You know, as he got up, he said, praise God, church. As I was driving in, I was looking at the flowers. They were well trimmed. They were all equal. And I said to myself, for excellence, we always attract excellencies. Come! I caught it. You know, some of you are doing business at Okiado, and your business center look like you are in Okiado. You only have Okiado people. But when you are doing business in Okiado, and your business center is like you are doing business in Lagos, you will have Lagosians living in Okiado by chance coming to patronize you. I pick it. Excellence. We always attract excellencies. There are some places some people can never enter to eat. Not because their food is not good, but their packaging is bad. I came home and I told my wife, I took it out. That was where our ministry started changing. We were changing the look of our ministry. We started talking about that before. You will see that somebody will come and do opening prayer in our church wearing slippers. Um, our slippers, our machine opening prayer. If before, you see somebody who wear Ankara at the top and jeans at the down. You will be doing praise worship. Or a yellow change, you will be yellow. Tobati Mura, Ni Mukumu, and Church Gege Kolua. Ejo, Boda, Eba Sokale, Eba Mikrofonua. Eja Kelu Miwa. Praise the Lord. Yeah! Then I came to our ushers too. Those years, I started changing their mindset. Don't just dress anyhow and stay at the entrance. You don't know who is passing. To the glory of God, I can tell you, 
Our church is not, is, does not have a sponsor anywhere, but there is no project we cannot do. There is nobody anywhere sending money to us. We are in the Kanwa and can send one million. We don't have a sponsor anywhere. I can say, I'm saying it, we are live on, 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 on net. But there is no project we cannot do. If we see a land of five million naira today, I can assure you, it won't take me two days to buy it. We have silent people that joined us by our excellence in this church. But if you see them dress, you will say, Ele, you will say, Ele, you will say, 50,000, I can't. That word changed my life. Listen, convention is coming again. You know, when the man of God came up and said, for oh, excellence, we we'll always attract excellence. Did he mention Pastor Prince in front? That Pastor Prince, that's your word. No, it is your responsibility to catch your word. If you don't catch it, it will fall. And don't forget our metal ball. The second person, his ministry is still where it is still today. Imagine, you are a pastor, you are doing ministry. Only come on. I've got big come by in the altar. You will always attract, with that kind of business, you attract Momo eaters. Hello. We prepared our calendar. One man of God saw it. He said, Pastor Prince will. Come, let me cancel you. I said, yes, sir. He said, do you know that you are wasting money on this calendar? How much do you sell it? I said, number one, sir, it's free of charge. We don't sell calendar. Because I've never seen any reasonable company sell calendar before. Or have you seen any company that sell calendar? So I enter calendar and church over. It's free. He said, come and see our own calendar. I launch it. I said, sir, this is your calendar. If I take it from you by respect, I will tear it before I get home. He said, what? He said, yeah. I said, look at it now, sir. I can't hang this on my wall. I know of people that have joined our church through calendar. Excellence will always attract excellences. That's why when I go for any church program, I open my ears. Before we don't have all these things now, all these gadgets. But excellency, I started looking at the way my, my mentor is doing ministry. A cameraman. You see how they are, you know, they have kubiku. Please don't miss your word though. These servants of God are coming. Don't be carried away by any other thing. Or sorry. Let's go. On. Let's go. On. Where am I? If you look carefully, I don't write out here, you will notice that after Hannah had the word of the priest Eli, she stopped praying, went away celebrating. Why? She received the word of Eli as the word of of the Lord to her. And I wrote here, beloved, there are several ways God appears to his people, one of which is by the word. Go to 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 21. Show me, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 21. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 21. Can I share your testimony? That's a brother, brother accurate, was sharing a testimony with us. That he was going to become a, a bus conductor. Abi, Abi tells of me going. He said when they invited him to in our church, he had negotiated, arranged with the person that owns the bus, and they said they would pay him how much every day? Five hundred naira. And he said he told himself, I will send two hundred naira to my mom every day. I will save two hundred naira every day, and I'll be using hundred naira to meet my daily needs. That was his plan. He said, but as he entered the church, I was preaching. And the title of the message is Pensu. And I said five things about Pensu. He said, but the one that touched him is that. I said, the more you sharp the pencil, the sharper the impact of the pencil on paper. 
that your what will not improve until you improve yourself. She said, he said, after that service, he decided to go and learn hairdressing. That he won't go back to conductor again. Thank God he had. Some of you are coming to church with a made up mind. There is nothing pastor is going to preach that will enter this heart. You see this heart? This heart? You are even boasting. You see this heart? This one? There is nothing pastor will preach. Uh, stay there. People are moving. Hmm. <laughs> hey, I told you the three pastors, the two pastors that were with me, one of them is still in his level. Of the level we were those in 2014 when Bishop, Adela, uh, Bishop Oedeko came. He's still there. The other one is dead. But Pastor Prince, we see moving. Because I will never stop excellence till tomorrow. You won't see me say, I'm coming to the office. You see, bedroom sleepers. Oh, you would have made bedroom sleepers. knows that it's for bedroom. Be bedroom sleepers is not even for your corridor. Oh, God, oh, what no bedroom? Go out, do see corridor, come out here. It's bedroom sleepers. Go ahead, let me move it. Move it, sorry, don't java. Oh, I have a sleeper. Oh, Ah, excellency, chef If I'm preparing my message, I dot my eyes, I cross my teeth very well. Excellence, no, no, Jack, I buy office. You know how much I'm paying for my office? Excellence, no, no, Jack, I buy secretaries. We have staffs. So my pastor's friends were telling me hey, in their school, they are the one teaching. I have never taught in any class except I just choose to want to visit them. I said, okay, I want to teach you destiny. You see, you see, uh, you see, okay, two plus four. Excellence will not allow me to do that. I have teachers employed. If you come to our school, they want to see the, the HM. HM is there. Excellence, no far. Oh, yeah. Where is our scripture? First Samuel. Chapter 3, verse 21. Let's read together again. One, two, three, and let's go. Then the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. For the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh, in Shiloh by the word of... How did God reveal himself? By the word. So 30... The, the, less, the next line of, of business that you should do may just come from pre preaching. I told our men, because I'm, I'm going to teach you a lot about diversification during this business meeting. I will teach you to di 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 diversify. Because some of you are sitting down with business that can never come, that the glory can never come back again. Our business come oh, go on with the father, our lie, lie. It's just like now you see you are setting up a business center. You are you went to buy type, typewriter. Are you getting what I'm saying? But there are some businesses that we never run down. I told our men begin to think in that direction. Flower business we never run down. Water business we never run down. School business we never run down. There is nothing you can do that will make you to stop giving back to children. Yes, hello. Kosintele she beka mo yoma bi mo yoro ne. See, Jesus, my day, oh, my be money. One day, lost school. That's why you will find on the same street three schools. One is collecting 100, 100 naira per day, another one is collecting 50, 50 naira per day, another one is collecting 40,000, and all of them have their class. I took my son to go and do the uh, exam in one school. By the time he did the exam, he passed. I asked them, okay, they should give me breakdown. When they gave me the breakdown, he's School fee, one time, is more than what my daughter is paying in university. I now said, if I join one year together, I can buy land at Liberty Road. It means that that is not my size. Abby, I left there. But sir, one little. Our business come at you, I will teach you doing the business meeting. One year I make it, you make it. Then she read me, me will leave her. Oh, go share me. Get where the moko in wedding, my dear Kusi. Ah, ah. Banka 
bankers know. I always tell bankers, all you have eh, is just present day glory. If you are a banker, your future is not secure. The day they sack you, that's then you, they will push you to reality. You know, you live all the fake life. You live inside AC at work. All the bonuses, uh, sorry, not bonus, all the uh, allowances. Dress, dressing allowance. Eh? Most bankers, when they come out, they don't know how to do business because they have lived indoor all their life. So when they come out, I want to know my like Sarah, Chivita, only stock at Kishobu, who want it home, 50 50 naira, Lere, Uri Bugwe. Now, when you now do business of one million, you make 50 50 50. That's not business. That business cannot pay staff, cannot pay your rent, cannot meet your expenses. So you begin to think about Emma Matia Jalobel, who the next week come for the meeting next week. So back to what we are saying. You pay attention to your word. Can I go on? Most believers running around in search of deliverance actually need to pay attention to the word of God that will usher them into the realm they hope for. Pay attention to the instruction you need for you to enter into the divine purpose. Uh, divine purpose of God for your life. So, during the convention, let your ears and hearts be always ready for the instruction you need because none of the instructions will have your name tagged on it. None of the instructions will have your name tagged on it. But your ability to catch it that this one is for me. This one is for me. And when you catch it that it's for me, don't discuss with your neighbor because your, your neighbor may not see value in that word. And they may help you water it and kill it in your heart. Tell me about the woman Jim. Mati Lin come on to Mamma. Evalu Mam Paru. I have one pastor friend like that. Anytime he follows me for conference, he always study me. Once I catch a word, I'll pick my notes. I want to write it down. Because a wise man said, the sharpest brain cannot be compared. With pen and, and biro. So once I write, this is my pastor friend. We will also pick Jota. He want to write, but he didn't know what I'm writing. When I say, Pastor Prince, please open your book. Open your book. Open your book. Let me see. So be ready. This convention is coming. Come and catch your word. That will open you up to the next level. I want to raise billionaires in this church. And you shall be one of them. I say you shall be one of them. Amen. You know, becoming great is, does not have age limit. Understand that it does not have age. And what is that guy? So yeah, I want to learn it. We see age limit. Lori, quick, you know, you know, Lastly, number six. Number six. Listen, do your best to avoid every form of distraction. As you await your own visitation. What's the next thing? Avoid distraction. This one is especially for you, our workers. And your shares, and your media, and your technical. Put it on screen. The book of um, Luke chapter 10, 38 to 42. Luke 10, 38 to 42. This one is especially for my workers. Please pay attention. Luke chapter 10, from verse 38. To verse 42. Let's read together again after the count of three. One, two, three, let's go. Now it happened as they went that he en entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. Let's go. And she had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. 40. But Martha was distracted with much serving and she approached him and said Lord do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone therefore tell her to help me now verse 41 let's go and Jesus answered and said to her Martha Martha 
you are worried and troubled about many things. 42. I love 42. That's the answer. Let's go. But one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. Listen, Jesus entered the house. Two sisters were there. Martha was one, Mary was the other. Martha said, Jesus is in my house. Jesus is in my house. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. What she wanted to do, was it bad? No, now. She prepared the food and was always rushing about the food. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's serve. But the other sister, hey, didn't follow her mom. That one paid attention as Jesus was preaching. She was paying attention. So she got angry. Master, she bet you know, like, told you. Told it in like she done, no? Ha! Abro mi de fi mi le wa ju kung boro kung boro le nui. Eh, she ba mi sofun. Go wa help me. Can you serve? Kini Jesus so. Ah, when you marry, bung bung kono charge ya kuma damo kwen. Shuri abro e mata. E to ba mu ye. Ose ento ni mbalo e. Chere ite in shishen church. E in lolo iba wiju. Most churches, Timbari, and one shots when it's Tanoa. Oh, enjoy me, Kura. One shot to the motto. I want, I want to the motto one only, tongue borrow lorum. A while you are one shots on my cojo. If I meet Timba, Timba Sumo, my brother, ah, 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 if I match in Ligon. One discuss a match in Ta, I want a young borrow. It's, I call it monkey spirit. They can't sit down three minutes. They will walk. I asked one, somebody one day. I was coming. I came in. I met all of He said, Samoa, I drink. When you talk drink, I want to drink. I want to drink. I want to drink. I to Straight. Oh, she made to get cocoa when you are in church, be in church. No matter the work of God you are doing, consent beba walk with you and say, Hello, meet you soon. I can set, I want to buy me set microphone to see Papa will complain. I will, and yara, it may fail soon. May you not be stagnant when your mates are progressing. Concentrate. It's only in our church I see that they used to sit down. Because one came gone. Once they finish playing, all the churches I've seen, they will be outside waiting for the pastors to say, We want to sing. They will come, come inside again. But look at what Jesus said about Martha. She has chosen the right one. The convention that is coming, don't allow your service to distract you. If your department will not allow you to grow, leave that department. Let me say it again. If your department will not allow you to grow spiritually, leave that department. Don't serve God in a department that will take you to hell. Don't serve God in a department that will not allow you to prosper. Let me take my, 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 my notes. Do not be, do not, sorry, do your best to avoid every form of distraction as you await your own visitation. This is for those who will have to be among the workers as the convention is on. Be careful not to allow your assignment be the reason why you will miss out of your divine opportunity. No matter what you do in the house of God, always remember that it cannot be compared to the encounter you will have if you concentrate enough to get your own word from God. In ministers' meeting, I've, I've worked as ushers, but they know me. Even if you put me outside, I will demand for a speaker to be placed where I, I stay. And there's nothing you can tell me, I want to, I'll be listening to the word that has been preached. Today's generation will concentrate. I even had that some of you, 
I'll be preaching in the front. If I'm preaching in the front, some people will be preaching their own to them at the back. You won't know what's already passed away. Should you know your See, let me tell you this story. Look, look at me. You know, I read a lot. I was reading the story of the, the Wright brothers. Now, the Wright brothers are the two brothers that worked on the, or using the law of gravity to make something plain to fly. While these uh, 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 right brothers were working hard in their garage to make the plane to fly, their father was a bishop. Their father kept telling them, man cannot fly. It is only witches that fly. But these two brothers said, by the time we are out, we will fly. Hear me. Based on what people say, these two, two brothers, they succeeded in their assignment. Hear me. They now said, in case if we crash. You know what we are going to do? They now made a, a path. They fill it with sand, beach sand. That in case they fall, they will have soft landing. They have what? Soft landing. These two brothers kept working hard. So they had, we will fly. But if we don't fly long for long, we will fall down. And if we fall, we will not die at falling. Robert Kiyosaki now said, with the way they lived their life, they were successful because whatsoever you see as real becomes your reality. Whatsoever you believe is real is what will happen to you. If you believe you will fail, there is nothing that can make you succeed. Am I communicating? That's why we, we, some of us have formed bad realities by the lot of bad testimonies we've had. So that's why we see that when we try something, it doesn't work. Your thinking creates your world. I saw it and I picked it. Don't be distracted. It's not that people don't want to distract you. But know your purpose in church. This convention, know the reason why you are coming. You do get me? You know, that's why I was hearing with somebody. I was The woman I met her, she was doing POS business. And I was talking to her. She was asking me questions on business. So I was now introducing a particular business. So I said, Mommy, why not go and try this and this? He said, ah, Daddy. He said, Daddy. He said, Daddy. He Apartension lopa at by and now said to her, Mommy, Kotuma affect most of you near Teba fashion con a low boss side and want you she T top boss in negative to fail. FS of me people who want to shell my fail. So on Tebang bo ju 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 This is for, so workers, take note. I'm summarizing now because of my time. No matter what you do in the house of God, always remember that it cannot be compared to the encounter. Okay, yes, I've said that. Act like the believers in the days of Nehemiah. Look up. They were working with one, with their sword on them, which means working with one hand and watching with the other side. They were working and watching at the same time. That's how you should do the work of God. Be working and be watching. Be what? Be walking and be watching. 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 That's why we, we stopped our choir from going out. You see, uh, service is on. We want to click one and rehearse our, our, our special number. When service is on. Any rehearse, I tell you, I tell you, service is over. I tell you, 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 because you don't know where your own word can come. So have you learned something today? 
Are you going to prepare yourself for convention now? Prepare yourself. This last one, watch as you walk. Watch as you walk. Concentrate as you walk. I'm trusting God that God will use this convention to raise great men and women. Let's be on our feet. Begin to thank the Lord for the word you have heard. I'm grateful, Lord, for the word of today. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Sagada bada 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 bas. Lege de Begin to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Be exalted for what you have done again today. Oh God, I'm grateful. Sagada bas kendele seke. Shagada bariks. Lenguri adabas kanda yaras. Lenge de bos. Renge de bas kende. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I want to pray for you. Now, this coming convention officially starts.